Have you ever gotten all your hardware and parts home just to realize that your CPU cooler or your graphics card doesn't fit into your case? Well, I have, and I know what you're thinking. Hey, that was a stupid thing to do. You should have just gone and checked the manufacturer's specifications. Well, easier said than done. Turns out that 50% or more, maybe even more than 75% of manufacturers do not list their CPU cooler clearance or graphics card clearance in their specifications on their website or even in their manuals. So why do they do this? I don't really know why they do this. This should be some like standard information that they can just throw up on their page. But the only thing that I can think of is that they've got you there on their page, you're about ready to buy a case, and they want to do they don't want to do anything to steer you away from buying that particular case. In addition, maybe they don't want the blame for you having a, a part that's not compatible with their case. Even when you do get the CPU cooler clearance height, a lot of times it's about 10 millimeters off. So, you know, if it says that the clearance height is 170 millimeters, you don't want to buy a CPU cooler that's over 160 millimeters. With motherboards and power supplies, we have ATX standards. We have a way to do all of this. But you know what? Occasionally, we still get it wrong when it comes to the the PC case and the cooler and the graphics card. So what I decided to do was take the 50 most popular cases on Amazon as of just a few days ago and make a huge list with all of the compatibility that I could find on the internet. Now I did a lot of searching in forums and places like that to find the maximum CPU cooler heights. Uh, I did a lot of digging and I put together a list of these 50 cases. So then if I've put together this list, why let you know? Well, first of all, so that you can use it as a resource for when you're building a PC, but also so that maybe you can help me in terms of what PC cases you think should be added to it. If you want to take that a step further, you can also go to facebook.com slash top 10 gamer, send me a personal message with cases and the specifications that I've listed on that table. Now I haven't listed everything for PC cases. In fact, I think it would be really handy to have a list of like all of the PC cases that are out there and every single specification, but uh, I didn't know how much interest would there would be in something like this. So if you're interested in working on this list or you like this list and think it's something that you could use, if you could let me know in the comment section below. I'll also leave a link right here to the original article where you can check out the table. Let me know what you think. It's got some pretty cool things in it. It, it includes uh, the fans that come with your case. Uh, it includes CPU cooler clearance, VGA clearance, uh, as well as uh, the size and form factor of all the cases listed. Anyway, I thought about doing this for this as well as other components for computer hardware. Yes, I know there's those, those, those websites you can go to where you can find out compatibility, but someone like me, I like details. So I'd like to know everything about every single case and thing out there all kind of in one place. Let me know if that's something that's interesting to you. Uh, if you like that, press that like and subscribe button. It helps this video get more attention and helps the channel as well. Again, hopefully you guys like this video. Check me out on facebook.com slash top10gamer or top10gamer.com. Soon we're going to be having a forum over at top10gamer.com where we can have discussions about stuff like this. Let me know if you'd be interested in joining that as well, and we'll see you next time.